Monitors, they're pretty boring, but this one is not because it's got a special button that most other monitors don't have. And it's also got a pop-up doohickey that we're gonna find out more about, but I'm not gonna ruin it right now. That's a spoiler. I hate spoilers. Mandalorian was spoiled for me. <sighs> All right, no, the cool thing about this monitor is that it's got a Teams button, Microsoft Teams. Have you ever heard of it? It's like Skype and it's got a pop-up camera with Windows Hello. So I did spoil it after all, I'm sorry. I need something to open the box though with. And we're not allowed to use knives? There's a knife right here. Oh, oh okay, so it's, it's there, but you're not allowed to use it. What do we use these paper clips for? Come on. There it is. Okay, down we go. It's a 34 inch ultra wide, is that right, Jono? It is curved. Uh, for better or for worse, with a 3800R curvature, uh, which is, I guess is pretty typical nowadays. Um, I wouldn't get a curved ultra-wide monitor, just so you know. We got in the box, we got a USB-C cable, a USB 3.0 or 3.1 Gen 1, I think. 3.2 Gen 1. <laughs> They're all so annoying. They're all so confusing now. Features a DisplayPort cable. I think that's 1.2 and a power cable. Okay. Wow, there's so many components. There's so many compartments. What should I start with, Andy? How, this is, oh, okay, there we go. That's the base. Do, 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 don't drop the base, because I'm not Linus. This is the monitor arm stand thing. What do you call this? That thing? Okay, here's the monitor itself. Take the monitor out and then Put, put that thing on it. I thought you just had to hold it. I thought you just had to go at your desk and just be like, ah, that's nice. Large deep dish ultra wide monitor. Okay, get in there. Ooh, that's always so satisfying. On to the base. We are now adding extra like work features into monitors, which I've been like, why haven't they done that earlier? Like, give me something extra. <laughs> which Dell has apparently done. Ooh, look at that fabric. This is a speaker? Dual five watt speakers? I, didn't, um, I knew that there were speakers, but I didn't know that there was gonna be this nice old fabric on it. Ooh, how am I gonna stop myself from just doing this all day when I'm using it? I don't do that. Oh, I do, that's right. <laughs> yeah, show the tweet, show the tweet. I'm gonna hook this up so we can really test it out. But before I do that, we gotta talk about our sponsor. Whoa, did you know Ridge Wallet sponsored this video? Thanks guys. Ridge Wallet is a compact wallet that keeps pant bulge down. It has RFID blocking plates to keep thieves from stealing your info. You can use the cash strap or the money clip to hold your cash and you can save 10% and get free worldwide shipping at Ridge Wallet by using offer code Linus at ridge.com slash Linus. Now, back to the show. The show of me hooking up a PC to this monitor. So, about the, first, the what? The oh, I'll do that, Jono. You're right, I'll do what you say. We'll take a bit more of a look at the physical. Oh, okay, so this is one of the, so we're starting right off with the limitation. The smaller models are able to do this more, I believe. The other ones can go all the way because it's, you know, who's gonna, who's gonna pivot a 34 inch monitor vertically? Okay, let's look at the I.O. I think I'm gonna have to tilt it back like this. Andy, can you get in there? I should have I should have just done this when I before I attached it. Okay, so we obviously got the power connector. We got an HDMI 2.0 port, I believe. We got display port 1.2. Now this is a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port that supports up to five gigabits per second. It's also got an RJ45 Ethernet. Um, and then on the bottom, you kind of have like a more easily accessible USB-A connector as well as a 3.5 mil jack and a, another USB-C port. It's also got this handy little Teams button on the front. That's not something you see every day. And in fact, it's the main attraction of this monitor. Get a close up on that, Andy. Right there. Got these other buttons. Boom, 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 boom. Buttons. All right, let's put it back on. On the back we have the power button and a joystick. Always love to see a joystick for monitor settings. And what's this tape up here? That's for the webcam. It's got Windows Hello built in. Let's check it out. All right, plug in my 
laptop here. Power, activate. Is it just gonna, is it gonna figure it out without me doing anything? Use the joystick. And what, do what with it? Down. English. Select yes to enable the following functions. Always on USB charging. Uh, yes. There it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanna see something. When I close the lid, do nothing. Now what happens? It's smart. What about mouse and keyboard? It's a touch, is this a touch screen? No. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, duplicate, extend. This isn't just a monitor that you're plugging in. So right now we're only using the display portion of the USB-C connection, but we're also asking it to use a webcam and mics and to send sound and as a USB hub. Let's open the camera. So right now it's using the laptop's webcam. Yeah, does it need like a driver or something? Let's find out. Let's take this thing off. Yeah, ready for appeal? I set you free, webcam. Can you see that? Yeah. What do you see? Nothing. Nothing. It's camouflaged. This monitor is a transformer. Webcam's in disguise. Sorry, I'll stop. All right. I haven't pushed it yet. Do you think I should? Push it. Oh. Hey there, it looks like you're using a Teams certified device. Did you know tapping the Teams button opens Teams? That's what I just did. Let's bring that over here. Call me on Teams. Oh! Oh, is it working? No, that's my, that's my, that's my laptop webcam. I'm unmuting, but it's muting me again right away. All right, let's cancel this. Canceled. No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna plug in the PC instead because um, I wanna see what, like how, how smart it is at just setting up by itself without me doing extra work. I got a computer down here. Can you see that, Andy? Okay, so I'm plugging that into the USB-C port and then I'm grabbing the display port. <sighs> Does this have Teams? Wait, I won't search for it. I'll just press the button. Press the button. I, I almost half expected it to like, when you press the Teams button for it to like go online and download it. Teams. Hello? Hello? Okay, now can you hear me? Check, check, check. What the heck? This is probably a huge waste of time. Yep, because I need to download drivers or something. All right, cancel again. Sorry, get out of my face, Jono. Maybe the reason why it hasn't been working is because there's this little red doohickey on the top uh, where the webcam is and I'm supposed to pull that out and maybe once I pull that out, it'll magically work. Let's find out. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't think you're supposed to pull it. I think that's just like the, the, the lens cover that, but what I think you are supposed to do is push. Oh, there it is. And webcam and mic enabled. I'm gonna peel this off. All right, call me, Jono. Ooh, after it kind of like focused in, it's really sharp. Yeah, it's supposed to be 1080p, 30 FPS. This shot would be better if we could see what it looks like on your laptop. Go over there, Andy. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks and I can get good. right up in the face for the real for the real business conference vibes. Listen, yeah. if you don't have those reports in by Friday. Yeah, you guys see that. Is that is that brightness, Andy? Also exposure and also also wipeout. So like it would be good if I was like a makeup YouTuber and I had to like show a product. It's like well, this I week I'm wearing Chanel. Let's switch back to the laptop. Okay, he's calling me. Press the Teams call button. Oh, and there's no camera. I can hear you though. And you're coming through the monitor, but my camera's off probably just because I, there we go. Nice. All right, you redeemed yourself, monitor. I was kind of scared for a second. Check out the new short circuit. Oh my gosh, sneak peek. Is that a short, is that the short circuit set? I didn't even know what that was. I was like, ooh, is that the podcast set? No, podcast set That's rude. Here I am hosting a video for you on your channel. Subscribe to TechLinked. Subscribe to Carpal Critics. Okay, so that is, uh, that's a little, it's redeemed itself. I was just confused. Linus, look, it's got a web, have you ever seen that before? It's a webcam with a, with a built-in, or it's a monitor with a built-in webcam. Look at this. Nope, nope. What, you don't like it? Nope, it's too far. What are you talking about? Too far. No, it's great. Oh. 
No, it's like it's just like a laptop without a without a mouse and key. Linus! What does he know? Papa! <laughs> the viewing angles are pretty good. It's supposed to be 178 degrees, so like almost 180. And like, yeah. You're probably not gonna be doing a ton of gaming on this thing, okay guys? It is 60 hertz, so whatever. It's got a KVM in it. So I'm plugged in with USB-C on my laptop. Display port again. And I'm gonna plug in with the USB-A to USB-B. Is it doing it? Cool. So there we go, that was pretty easy. What they say is that it has a built-in KVM, which means you should be able to use one mouse and keyboard with both machines. USB switch, upstream, USB-C. <gasps> yeah! Okay, that's super easy. So I still have my laptop plugged in and I can control the mouse on the laptop, but I can also control the mouse with this one, which is plugged in through the USB, the monitor, yeah! And that's, I think, is the really cool thing about this monitor is that it integrates a bunch of other stuff that you would need to like go and connect to your PC in a discreet fashion, like separate. Uh, it's just all there. I'm a bit confused as to why Microsoft has a monitor with Teams integration built in when they have this like special deal with Samsung, where like Samsung and Microsoft are buddy buddy. I figured this would be a Samsung monitor instead, but it's a Dell. You know, Dell's getting in on the Microsoft action too. Microsoft doesn't discriminate. I don't know, I'm scared. I don't think this is gonna be very good, guys. For a business-focused monitor, that's pretty good. Well, that was a monitor, and this was a video. And you are a viewer, and I'm a host. And we, this, we're gonna make more of these, is the point I'm trying to get at. So subscribe, follow on Twitter, do whatever you want. It's a free country, depending on where you are. <laughs>